Hey everyone, on today's video I want to show you how I organize and declutter my home office. I've also decided that we're going to focus only on one of my drawers today. Um, the reason why is because I didn't want this video to be very long and at the same time if we do the drawer and I explain all of my thought process you kind of know everything else and I didn't want to repeat myself. So I guess that just with the drawer you're gonna get the big picture and then you can go on and do similar things in your home office or anywhere else you want to declutter and organize. Okay, so uh, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to get from this to this. Okay, so first thing first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove everything from this drawer and put it on a bigger surface so I can have some clarity on what I want to keep and what I want to throw out. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take each category apart and decide which one I'm keeping and which one I'm throwing out or giving away. I have two tapes. I have the regular tape and the magic tape. I haven't used the magic tape for a very long time, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's just in my, um, it's just creating clutter anyway, and I'm not having any um, use out of it. So it doesn't need to stay in my drawer. So I'm gonna give this one away, I'm gonna put this aside. Then let's go with the envelopes. I have the regular size envelopes and the smaller size envelopes. Uh, to be honest, I don't really need the smaller size envelopes that much, but sometimes I do, so I'm gonna keep them. And the same time I have my stamps that stay nicely inside of this box, so I'm gonna keep both of them. I have two scissors. Uh, this one is way much better than this one, so I'm gonna give this one away and I'm gonna keep only one in my drawer. Then after that I have erasers. I have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna give all of those three away because I'm not using this one, I'm not using this one, and this one is very old, and this one is gonna last for longer, so I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of all those three. So I have a lot of post-its. First, I'm gonna select the ones that I like and that I'm using a lot. So all of those little square ones I really like and I use them all the time. So I'm gonna take them together and put them aside. All of those ones, to mark pages, I've never used them. Even if I could use them, I just didn't like using that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Same thing for this one, never opened it, never used it, so I'm gonna give it away. And the heart-shaped one, they're very cute, but uh, they're not very practical, so I don't use them, I'm gonna give them away too. Then I'm left with those ones, and I really like those ones because I make my to-do list on them if I have uh, something I really need to have a list and something that's a bit longer than the square one. So I'm gonna keep those two. Next, let's do the pencils. I have a lot of them. I have those ones here. I have this one, which is part of this set, but it's out. I have those push pencil. I don't know what's the real name of it, but the one that you would go like this and you push, push it out. Okay, so I, after a couple of years, I realized I don't like those push pencils at all. Um, I just really don't enjoy them, so I'm going to give all of them away. And at the same time, I have some extra mines. I don't know what's the name of this, but I have some extra little thing. So I'm going to give this away with the pencils. And this is colored pencils. So when you write, you write in rainbow. It was when I was, when I was a kid, but I'm not a kid anymore and I don't enjoy this as much. So I'm probably gonna give this to some kids or something, something like that. I'm left with those and I really like those. So I'm gonna keep all of them. Those will be my backups and this will be my main one. Then let's do the markers. I have a lot of them. Prior to doing this part of the video, I already tested all of my pens and markers and Sharpies, and I know all of them are working, so I'm not gonna test them. But something good to do at this point is to test everything, to make sure that everything is working, that it's not dry and I'm not keeping it for nothing. So let's separate them in, col separate them in colors. Okay, so I have two blues, three greens, 
one purple, one pink, one orange, one white, and one yellow. I'm only going to keep one of each color because I do like to um, color mark my notes. So I'm going to keep only one of those. So I really like this brand. I'm going to keep this one, keep this one. I don't have the blue in this brand, which is a bit annoying, but I'm going to keep this one with them. Let's do the pens. Yeah. Oh, let's do the Sharpie. This. I have a blue Sharpie pen. I don't know how I got this one. And I have three almost regular Sharpie pens. I don't like the blue one, so for sure I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna keep only one of those two. And my boyfriend really liked this one, so I'm gonna keep this one too. Okay, now for pens. Um, a lot of them I really just don't like, so I'm gonna right away remove them from the pile. Well, that was easy. I just removed everything that I didn't like. And what I want to do also is to keep two blacks and two blues. And there's one blue missing, I think it's on my, um, I took my notes over there. There you go. And I really like this pen because it's uh, two pens in one. There's one side is red and the other side is black and it find it very useful when I wanna write uh, notes and I wanna put something in red to make it more obvious. So I'm gonna keep all of those pens. Next, we're gonna do the electronics. So I have this little charger for Mac, the mouse, and this little thing that you use to open your uh, iPhone. So all of those are important. I'm gonna keep them with me. Next, I have, what? what's the name of this? Sharpener? I'm also gonna keep this thing because it goes with the pencils. Next, what I have is, um, it's like liquid paper who's not liquid. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep this one because I kept uh, some of the pencils and if I wanna correct some stuff uh, on more official documents. After that, I have some putty, but I really don't use it. It's almost dry already. So I'm gonna give it away. I have a ruler that I don't use never. So I'm gonna give it away. More stuff that goes with the push pencils. I'm gonna give it away. This is an elastic, give it away. Then I have all of those little things, those, um, those things. <laughs> I'm gonna keep those. I wanted to throw them away, but after I, I've made some uh, change in my filing cabinet, I realized that I was actually using them. So then I'm gonna keep those. And I'm also gonna keep those ones. I think those are, I just don't know the name of it, sorry. I'm gonna keep those too. So all of those I'm gonna keep together. This is for my filing cabinets and anything that I want to have a little name tags on it. And I use them, so I'm gonna keep here. Then for staples, I have a lot of them, but at the same time, I don't wanna throw them away. So I'm gonna keep everything. I'm gonna keep the glue and I'm gonna keep this thing. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna reorganize it inside of the container that I put aside. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this right now is that I'm gonna fill it up with everything that's there. I'm gonna fill it by categories, but also I'm gonna make sure that things that I put closer to me are the things that I use the most. There you go. And now what's left to do is just to put this back inside of the drawer. Once you're done and satisfied, before putting everything back up in the drawer, let's just give it a little cleanup. So 
So this is it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And just as a small recap, the first thing to do is to remove everything, then you uh, separate everything from uh, each other, depending on which category they are, pen, pencils, stuff like that. Then you decide which one you want to keep, which one you want to throw away. And before you do that, make sure all of them are working. If they're not, throw them away. And then decide which one you want to keep and which one you're going to give it to family um, to, or just, I don't know, give it to somebody else. And then after that, you reorganize your space with everything you want to keep and you clean the area, put everything back in and you have a nice little space. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.